The retreat order had been sent, and the Yeshans were falling back under the onslaught of the Anglian offensive. All but the merry thralls, who pressed on in vengeance to face Anglia's crimson rhino riders one final time. Neither side knew the truth. Never would have thought a band of simple for you and harm's dealer would be able to bring so much destruction. Oh, you know we are. <laughs> Not all simple. I take it you enjoyed the show. You're quite right, privateer. We did. I take it you're ready for the next step. Is the fleet ready? Close. The battle of preparing the people, our allies are falling in love, and you know, it's only a matter of time. Just say the word, and we'll deliver. Then I charge you, avec l'autorité des barons. Bring us a surprise. Deliver us a quarry. Give us the sweet retribution that is rightfully ours. And our agreement? I do believe Faberia will have a new baron soon. <laughs> Excellent. Retribution shall be yours. The battle was over. The Crimson Rhino Riders had won. All of Anglia cheered for joy as a call proclaiming the victory rang out across the frigid nation. The unstoppable tiger had retreated with its body beaten and its face bloody. Such blood and death came at the price of a fistful of dollars, which now lined the pockets of those who drove it to such a fate, those who then remained in the shadows. I'm here. I was just in the middle of finding out where a baroness hides her dagger. Her husband's backside, sir? <laughs> Very clever. I'll remember that one. <laughs> so I trust this is important for you to call me all the way out here. Yes, indeed it is. Well, that with it then. Right, you remember that last glorious battle over Anglia? One where the VSS sacrificed himself so majestically for the tiger. Ah, the epitome of Yeshin heroism as they died to protect their comrades. If we made a lot of money off that battle. What of it? Well, I regret to inform you that there was a survivor. Yes, there was a few here and there. What of it? Normally I wouldn't care, but that survivor happened to be one of ours. Oh? Yes, you know how these things go. This man talks to Anglia to save his own hide, and Anglia winds back to Yesha. Is that all? Well, sir, they are preparing to forge an alliance to bring vengeance upon us. It's quite obvious to them our role in all of this. This traitor has thrown a pretty large spanner into our plans. And? What makes you think they're a traitor? So, this was a ploy? All in good time. Now return to your station and wait for the fun to start. What have you got up your sleeve? To reap what I have sown and to take our rightful place in this world. The truth has been revealed. Grief 
has turned to anger, anger turned to hate, and hate has brought about a turn of events which is unthinkable. With the wounds still mending, Yesha and Anglia have forged an alliance. The Northern Pact has been established. Though wounded, their unity in vengeance is unshakable. They will crush those who have manipulated them from the shadows and get revenge for their fallen. Such desire has now brought the fledgling alliance to the baronies. I don't like it. It's too quiet. Ugh, Yeshans are such cowards. It's not cowardice. It's logic. The Fjordlanders didn't even question our crossing their border. There wasn't even a single ship of the King's fleet. No, the barons are too lazy and busy fighting each other than managing their own realms. That's how we slip through and strike this fast job. Still, something doesn't feel right. These criminals should have seen us coming. The beauty of a dawn raid. Scammer probably still in bed. We did fancy a wake up call. <sighs> you Anglians, so needlessly brutal. The base is clean. They're gone. That can't be right. They still have ships docked. Incoming warships. Whose colors? Fjordlander low life. No, those aren't just any lowly Fjordlanders. That's to the lonely scum down there, cowering in fear. Consider this the pinnacle of your pathetic short lives. Bask in the glory of true greatness before you die. Hello there, little quarry. You thought we had forgotten you. <laughs> Maybe some did, but I know my father didn't. He thought of you both every day, all these years, as he sat on his throne, ruling these lands. He thought that we'd borrow our lives in Fjordlands, while you, Yesha, sat in your ever-expanding cradle of power, drunk on the suffering of others. And you, Anglia, you were bastillions of ice and metal, Fondling your trinkets, all the while ravaging our lands to fuel your lust. You fools, so full of yourself, <laughs> you couldn't even see how easy it was to turn your guns against each other. <laughs> then you were behind the whole thing. I wouldn't stoop so low as to dirty my hands with such peasantry as you. Not even my father would stoop to such a level. That is below our family after all. A ruler delegates power and responsibility to those worthy. And I must say, they've done a fine job at making you both look quite foolish. They've even delivered the unified little pact here that carry all of Yesha shall hear of this treachery. An angler will bury your kingdom under our keels. <laughs> Idle threats for weaklings like you do not scare us. There's little you can do to stop our retribution. My Lord Baron of Ravenbrook, you may dispose of this filth from off my land. With all the guns, tear them to pieces! Fucking Fjordlanders, I'll fabricate them and feed them to our slaves! Ugh, easy. There'll be time for that. First, we have to get home. Warn our governments. 
But, but Lord Sleep is right near. We can take them. We have no fleet. But that stopped us. Yeah, well, your kind is special, like that. But together, we have to be careful. Our fleet still haven't recovered. We must regroup. Besides, we really shouldn't have survived that. Their shots... Ugh, you're such a killjoy. Quiet, you. Let's just get moving. See if anyone else survived. News of the Fjordlanders' attack spreads fast. However, greeted with this new foe, this act solidified the resolve of the Young Alliance. Neither would bend their knee to the Fjordlanders, and a wounded animal is most dangerous when it is cornered. Rally cries went forth throughout lands bound by the pact. All able ships and captains were called up. Even those far too young or those past their prime answered, and ships that were once cargo haulers now outfitted weapons. They knew the barons were on borrowed time, with their resources limited and their fleets unable to travel the distance to strike targets they needed to hit. The pact must move fast, before another foe emerges. Surprised we're joining them. But it does feel nice to finally take the fight to those Anglians. Ugh, you said it. About time we paid them back for all the years they've raided us. Cut the chatter. We've got to get these plans there by nightfall, or this conflict is over before it even starts. Chaladon has sided with the Baroness. The Black Channel Coalition. Let's make another killing, shall we? Yay! 